it's your Mina again. I hope you all are doing well. Today is a tag video that I am creating. To my knowledge, I did not research on YouTube. It's just something that I came up with when I smelled a beautiful scent that I really love. So basically the tag is naming 11 natural or artificial smells that you love and would you wear them in a perfume as the main scent. So that's the question. And I actually did 11 scents that I'm going to talk about. This is not going to be a super long video. And you can do however many scents you want to do. I wanted to do 13 since that's my favorite number. I was originally going to do, I think I was originally going to do 5 scents, but it kind of grew. So I have 11 scents in total that I'm going to talk about. And the scent that inspired this is going to be the third scent I talk about. But the first scent I'm going to talk about is a is a bush that I really love. So the bush is called the butterfly bush and it's named because it does really attract butterflies. It has the most beautiful scent. It usually blooms fully in the summertime and we actually have a few of them around here. So I'm looking forward to seeing butterflies on that bush. The flowers on that bush come in purple I've seen and in white as well. And it just has a beautiful floral scent that carries on the wind and on the breeze usually on the breeze because wind is too strong but it usually carries on the breeze and if i have my balcony windows open i can smell it sometimes in my apartment other times i have to smell it when i'm going past the bush in the area or in areas that have it so if that was in a perfume i would actually love to try that out if they ever put that essence in a perfume because it attracts butterflies and that scent attracts me. It's such a beautiful scent. I used to have a butterfly bush in my apartment, but it it didn't last too long. It didn't bloom in my apartment because I don't get as much sun as it needed. But yeah, I would wear that in a perfume for sure. So the second scent would be lavender. That's another scent that I really love. I would wear it in a perfume. I would love to try. I actually had a perfume. I do still have a perfume oil of a lavender and it's pure lavender. I love it. I don't wear it all the time. I usually just wear regular spray on perfumes and this is a la uh, lavender scented oil. But yeah, I would and I have worn lavender like that. I love just about any kind of skincare, body care bath time product with lavender in it as well so the third scent and this is the scent that inspired this tag for me is this scent right here from bath and body works oh my goodness don't fall okay so this is a pumpkin spice latte and i have tried let's see if there are scent descriptions in here pumpkin pie spice fresh es espresso espresso and whipped cream is those the notes of this scent and I was hesitant to buy this because I absolutely do love everything pumpkin spice smelling. Um, I buy as much as I can during the pumpkin spice season that is available to me and that I'm interested in purchasing. And the only reason why I hesitated in buying this is because I have the hot cocoa. I've had the hot cocoa wallflower from Bath and Body Works and the smell is good only it makes me feel like eating all the time and I did not want that I finished up the last hot cocoa that I had because I felt like I was supposed to be drinking hot chocolate all the time or I needed to eat something sweet because it just permeated my apartment and made me feel like I needed to be eating something this is perfect because most of the scents that I like as wallflowers in my apartment either smell so strong I have to like pull them out of my walls when I'm at home or I have to not be in a room that it's in and I close some doors sometimes but this scent is perfect I can keep it in my wall while I'm at home in the same room with it or and I don't feel like eating like it doesn't make me feel like I have to eat but it smells it smells so good it smells so good I this is my favorite scent so far because I have a lot of scents that I really enjoy of the wallflowers but this is the first scent that I've had that I could keep in a wall doesn't make me feel like eating doesn't make me feel sick doesn't feel overpowering and I only bought one so I am NOT gonna use it for a little while because I don't want to 
I don't want it to go away before pumpkin season comes again, pumpkin spice season comes again, so I might not use it until November, I don't know, but I'm going to definitely buy more of these, and I wish I would have bought more of these at the time. So that's my third scent, and then the next one is the scent of a newborn human baby. I would not want that in a perfume, but I would love to cuddle a baby. So I love cuddling babies. I don't get to do it often ever, but that smell is one of my favorite scents, one of my favorite natural scents, and I would not want that in a perfume, not really, because it would probably be a powdery scent, and I do not like, I don't like perfumes that have too much of a powder note to them at the top if it's at the top or if i sense it it usually bothers my senses so i prefer not to but i love the scent of newborn babies i'd rather color little baby so next scent is garlic that's my fifth scent i love the way garlic smells but i would not want it in a perfume absolutely not okay the, I also love the way fish markets smell. I'm from New York City and I would love, I loved when I was able to go to a fish market. I love the way it smells, but I would definitely not want that in a perfume as well. And what's funny, I think Yana from The Scented actually mentioned a perfume that she says smelled like rotting fish or fish market or something i wouldn't want to smell that scent that she was talking about it didn't even sound appealing because of that description she gave it but i absolutely do not remember what scent she was talking about that was like a few months ago that she mentioned that scent the next scent is number seven is the sm rain smell after i should have rephrased that the smell of rain after the smell of the way the air is after it rains so I would not like the way that smells because Replica, Mason Margilia, has actually created a scent called When the Rain Stops. And the scent description does not sound interesting to me. I am not interested in trying this scent. It is a... What is the notes? And Sorry. So the notes for the When the Rain Stops is fresh... The scent family, the scent type is Fresh Aquatics. And the key notes are Aquatic Accord, Rose Petal, and Pine Needle. Aquatic Accord and Pine Needle turn me off completely. I love the scent of roses. I love everything rose. But the Aquatic Accord, Pine Needle, the fact that it's a fresh scent does not go well with me because I don't like most fresh scents. Like, as a perfume, I like fresh scents in the world. But not as a perfume. They just don't appeal to me. They... They just don't appeal to me, like really do not appeal to me. I'm not interested in trying that scent. If I get a mini sample of that, I will smell it. But anything that I have to pay for to try when the rain stops, I'm not paying for it. It's not in the scent family that I'm interested in. The next scent I have, the next smell is actually roses. That's funny, I forgot that I put that on here, roses. Yes, I would wear it in a perfume. A few of the perfumes that I own do have roses as a first scent. Like, I think Lacombe Idole has that scent. And, yes, I love roses. Love the flowers. Flower, rose, roses and orchids are my favorite flowers. And forget-me-nots as well. They're kind of, like, in the same tier with each other. But, yes, I would. I do wear perfumes with roses in them. Ninth scent is eucalyptus. I would not. I... Love eucalyptus in the air. I think it would be too earthy on me and it would kind of go probably with my body chemistry and just be a little too earthy and I like the floral fruity scents to come off of my skin and that would probably just blend into my scent a little bit, I guess. Um, but yeah, I love the way eucalyptus smells. It reminds me of my grandparents' home. So quick story. When I was living back home in New York City, I would walk past this flower shop and in Lower Manhattan, and I was like confused of why it smelled like my grandparents' house. And I finally like stopped at the flower shop, and I was looking around, looking around, and I figured I figured out the reason why it smelled like my grandparents' house was because it had eucalyptus. My grandparents' apartment in Queens, New York, used to smell like eucalyptus. Right now, they don't live in Queens; they live in another state but yeah so yeah that i love the way it smells but i do not want a perfume that smells like that okay 
So the 10th scent is the smell of a pier or the beach. I thought I would love that smell, but no, I do not. There is only one scent. I think I would like it more if it was like in a candle because there is a forever mood scent that kind of smells like aquatics. And it is the new money scent, I believe, that smells kind of like aquatic and fresh. Like that scent in the candle is gorgeous, but no. So I have two perfumes that have a beachy smell. And this is Beach, Beach, all the perfume, all the perfume by Bobby Brown. And it smells good, but I don't like the way it smells on me. And maybe it's because it's a roll on, but I don't like the way it smells on me. But it smells nice. And then Beach Walk by Replica Mation Margilia is another nice scent. But no, I do not like the way it smells on me. So they smell good. They don't smell bad. I just wish that I could wear them and feel happy with wearing them, but I don't. I don't like wearing them. They make me feel like I need to put on a floral scent over them. So that's probably how I'll have to use them. Okay, the last scent. <laughs> this is funny to me. Okay, the last scent is when I was younger, there was they would give us Xerox copies of paperwork that we would have to do in class or it would be copies of our homework. And it would smell like rubbing alcohol because they actually had rubbing alcohol bottles on the Xerox copiers back in the day. I don't know why. So the, the way I named this scent is the fresh smell of copies out of a out of an old fashioned alcohol based Xerox copier. <laughs> so basically it would smell like rubbing alcohol. And no, I don't want a perfume that smells like that because to me, bad perfumes just smell like rubbing alcohol. And that's not a scent I really want to be smelling. Um, I'd rather smell rubbing alcohol, really. But no, I wouldn't want to wear a perfume that just smelled like rubbing alcohol. But yeah, so that's, that's the end of my video. Um, just really, really quick, I bought one of the top perfumes in my top 10 list of perfumes that I was interested in is Cherry in Japan by Escada. And to me, when I first sprayed it, it smelled like rubbing alcohol and I was like, oh no. <laughs> but thankfully it does smell more like cherry. So I'll probably be discussing that perfume in another video. But yeah, it smelled like rubbing alcohol and it reminded me that I was going to be doing this video. So it kind of made me chuckle when I smelled it. And I was just like, oh no, it smells like rubbing alcohol. But yeah, so that's in this video. I hope you all are doing well. I hope you all have a good week. I hope Sunday has been good to you. My Sunday was super busy. And I will talk to you all later. Bye.